Hey, you. Hello. How are you doing? Just peachy. I've, um, slept, read, slept some more. I've never been this tired in my life. No wonder. You've been around the world and through the ringer. It's a miracle you're still standing. I know. I keep surprising even myself. So, any news? Definitely. We started receiving information from the worm. It's just a trickle, but enough to work on. And? Not good. I don't know what's happening yet, but it appears DreamNet is expanding onto the wire at an alarming rate. Also, the virus, if that's what it is, is increasing its grip on the Dream Core. Another week, and Whitey might not be in the driver's seat any longer. Can't they just shut it down? Maybe, but they won't do that now. They'd have to shut down the entire project, and if they wait, the window of opportunity is shrinking. What else have you found out? I've begun searching through the data coming into Dreamcore, around the time the static started happening. With any luck, I might be able to get some coordinates. Coordinates to what? To where the intrusion originated. To who's behind it. If I can get that location, we might be able to stop the attack at the source. But it'll take another few days to download all that data. In the meantime, we'll just have to wait. No. No, we can't just sit around and twiddle our thumbs. We need to do something. Okay. Um, what did you have in mind? I should go back in. Back in? Hey, no. That's not an option. It is an option. You have a dreamer, right? And that drug... Uh... Morpheus. Look, it's not safe. Pete's... He, he might find you. He won't. He told me so himself. He couldn't get inside me. That's what frustrated him so much. My dreams were closed off to him. If I go back inside, I might be able to speak with that girl again, the one Pete's is so afraid of. And maybe she can help me get back to... to that place. To... Arcadia? I know you don't believe me. I don't even know if I believe it myself, but... It's not that I don't believe you, Zoe. It's just that I know how powerful the dreamer is. It can make anything seem real. It wasn't a dream. I don't know what it was, but I was there. Somewhere else. Another world. And I need to go back. It's too dangerous. Look, Charlie said I never left the fringe the first time I hooked up. I'll be right here. You can pull me out if anything happens. It could be the whole thing was just a dream. In that case, there's nothing to lose. And if it wasn't a dream, there's everything to be gained. Maybe April knows what's going on now. Maybe she's willing to help me. Maybe... Damien, please. It's the only lead we have right now. I don't want to sit here and wait. I want to do something. I want to stop Watty Corp. I know. I, I just wish that I... I didn't have to sit here and, and watch you hook up to that thing. I know. I've enjoyed staying here, Damien. With you. Getting to know you. You're... You're someone I might want to get to know better. Really? I, I feel the same way. It's just that... This is a strange time... I don't know where Reza is, or if he's even alive still. The world's going to hell. And now we're talking about hooking me up to a device that might send me to another world. It's a bit out of the ordinary. I can see that. So, um, I just wanted you to know that I like you. That I want to get closer to you. Just not... not right now. Hey, that's okay. I feel... So you don't forget? Trust me, I won't. You're great, Zoe, and I... And I... Shut up.
Jeepers, this place has changed a lot. It used to scare the crap out of me, and now it's sort of... fluffy. With an edge. The Guardian's out there. I guess I should go alone. I'm not arguing. Knock yourself out. I'll wait here. Unless that portal thingy starts closing, in which case it's bye-bye Guardian's realm. Hello, comfortable reality. Don't worry. I'll be back soon. The last time I saw this place, it was desolate. Now there's life everywhere. Crow is the most loyal friend I have ever had. Forget about asking me to come with you. I don't like those big pillars of light. They're never safe to be around. Just as surprised as you are, Gordon. How... Uh, how have you been? I... don't know. This place. I'm both a part of it, and a part from it. I'm no longer who I once was, though I remain who I once was. There is natural dichotomy to the balance. Positive and negative. Reality and dream. Being and unbeing. Sounds confusing. I don't envy your role. You're standing in the middle of a very busy intersection. I don't know any other way to be anymore. I... remember. But my memories feel like they belong to someone else. So, April, you have come to me with questions. I didn't know where else to turn. Something's going on with the Twin Worlds, and I need to know what you know. You're right. Something touches the balance between the Twin Worlds. Dreams. Threads that weave through the Divide. But the balance remains undisturbed. Dreams have always passed between the world of Stark and the world of Arcadia. That is how the worlds stay connected. How magic and science remain inextricably tied to each other. The laws of nature, of the universe are stronger than the artifice of the Divide. So it's not something dangerous? I don't know, April. There are forces far stronger than the balance at play here. Dreams make up the fabric of Cosmos. Yet my responsibility lies solely with the channeling of energies between Stark and Arcadia, between science and magic. And you don't know anything about these dreams? I know this. Your role in these events has come to an end. You are not the one who will set things right this time. I'm... not. Who will? That's not for me to see. Your fate has always been tied to the balance, April. I see where our paths intersect. I can't see into the dreaming. The dreaming? What's that? The place where everything begins. You, me, this realm, the twin worlds, time, matter, cosmos, everything. It all begins in the dreaming. You're being obtuse. You know I hate it when people are being obtuse. I'm sorry. I don't know any more than that. But you don't have to carry the burden on your shoulders this time around, April. You're free. Go live your life. Let the past go. That's easy for you to say. There's meaning to your existence. Me? I wasn't who I thought I was. I honestly have no idea who I am anymore. 
Everyone kept telling me I was important, that I was needed. Then one day I... wasn't. I was just lost. So don't tell me I'm free. Don't tell me to go live my life. You don't know. You have a purpose. We all do, April. You just haven't found yours yet. But this isn't it. Let it go. Okay. Done. I'm officially letting this one go. There's nothing more you can tell me? Only what I sense. Dreams are passing from Stark to Arcadia. But not the other way around. A slow trickle that may grow to a torrent. But this does not concern the balance. And so, it does not concern me. I guess that's good news. Thank you. By the way, I like what you've done with the place. Thank you. Safe journeys, April. <laughs>